happy freaking Saturday, everybody. And I hope that I hope the music's not too loud. I'm sure you guys will let me know if it is. That's always my concern. You know, I test out the the stuff, the live stream setup. Some things don't save when I end the live stream, so I always have to set up something. And the music level is supposed to be preset. I enjoy it. I like a little bit of background ambiance. Some people think it's annoying. I don't really care, to be honest. Like, it's, it's my live stream. I'm going to do it my way, right? Maybe that's to my detriment. I don't know. We do things differently here, or at least we try to. We try to offer some kind of content that's a little bit different than what you see every single day from 75% of the other channels. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes nobody watches. <laughs> Happy freaking Saturday. Oh my goodness. And it was a long week for me. I'll tell you what. I uh, I feel like I dragged myself into, into the weekend. A long work week. Yeah. We got some shout outs. Shout out to Marco for being the first person in the chat. And Marco, thank you for being a channel member. We got my man Top Dog in the house on a weekend, on a Saturday. Top Dog, good to see you, brother. Thanks for being a channel member. Thanks for keeping those streets safe. Channel mod in the house. Alicord Paracord as well. She says, hello, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way in. This is Sparta! We don't, we don't hit the like button here. We Spartan kick it into submission until YouTube decides that knife content is what people want to watch, believe it or not. They do. And yet, some for some reason, the algorithm says, no, we're going to show you, you know, content of fluffy kitties and people doing stuff. And <clears throat> thanks, YouTube. Uh, shout out to T-Fetch. Welcome in. Uh, we got Alamander in the house. Welcome in. Fib it a bit, another channel member. Thanks for being a channel member. Neil McKenzie, another channel member. Good to see you. T-Fetch, did I say hi if I did? Uh, hi again. <laughs> Barry Lily from Down Under. Welcome in, brother. Another channel member. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Chris229 in the house says, what's up, everybody? What's up, Chris? Welcome in. How's your Saturday treating you? Thanks for being a channel member. Um, oh, my goodness. I always lose control of the chat. I try to hit everything, and then, I, you know, inevitably, I miss something. Uh, welcome into Nick. How's it going, man? Thanks for being a channel member. Thanks for jo uh, joining in. How's it going, Roman? Oh my goodness. Jim Miller in the house. Welcome in, Jim. Good to see you, brother. Says, what's up? Had a wreck. I'm okay. The truck is through. Damn. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. You know, the truck can be replaced. Um, the one thing is for certain, Jim Miller cannot be replaced. So I'm glad that you came through all right, man. Um, condolences for the truck. That's, that's never good. Um, that is why we carry insurance. Um, but it's never the same, right? They fix it. It always drives a little bit different. They don't fix it. You have to get it something new and hope that it does the job and doesn't have issues. I've had a slew of car issues over the last couple of years. Not with my car, with the, with the wife's car. And uh, there's something about car problems that is the worst. Hey, how's it going? A Lone Star Cowboy. He says, carry of the day, the Miguron Bologna original size, not mini. Thanks for being a channel member. And I, uh, I like what you did there with the wrench. It's not a golden wrench. Maybe that should be the next channel emoji. Maybe we should create the golden wrench. And underneath it will be the golden rule, which is don't be a dick. That's the golden rule. Maybe I'll make t-shirts, channel shirts. People have been asking for this stuff. And I, you know, I've been slacking. I'm sorry. For those of you who have been asking for channel merch, um, I haven't done stickers in over a year. I haven't done patches at all. I haven't done any t-shirts. I have a single hat that was gifted to me by Oreo Dave, a channel moderator. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I, I, I suck at merch. I need to not suck at merch. So we'll, we'll look into that. Top Dog says, it's cool, Rolly. I just usually turn the sound off anyways. I see how it is. I see how it is. You're here for this beautiful mug, aren't you? I know you're not alone. That's why I do the only hands content. 
Oh, man. Barry Lilly says, what super steel is my Milwaukee Fastback? I, is it surgical stainless? I've never looked at a Milwaukee Fastback. I know they exist. I know they're popular. All right. It's called Managing Moderator Rolchambeau. Is that the Golden Wrench? Maybe we should do, like, what's the step up from Golden? Don't say Platinum. It's probably Zerkatai or Zirconium. Unobtainium. Hey, welcome into Craig Vincent. Good to see you, man. He says, hey, I'll just stop by to say hi on my way to a base gig. See you Wednesday, though. Absolutely, man. And good luck in your gig. I hope you kill it. What do they say? Slap at a base? I won't say that again. Um, hey, welcome into Blue Minati Ninja, another channel moderator in the house. Community legend. How's it going, Blue? Welcome in, brother. How's your weekend? You enjoying your Saturday? My Saturday is pretty, pretty decent so far. Haven't done a whole lot. This is the probably the highlight of my day right here. Lone Star says, Monday tax day drama. Raisins for every cookie is the way. No raisins. This is a raisin-free zone. I don't care if you have them. I don't care if they're your favorite snack. You eat the raisins after the live stream. Raisins not, not allowed. Uh, unknown steel, unknown origin. Surgical stainless, I would be willing to bet. Hey, welcome in, Lou. Good to see you. Says Craig just won, won the giveaway on G Balls channel. Hey, congratulations, Craig. That's fantastic. What did you win, man? I didn't have a chance to uh, to check in on G Balls live. I get busy. Um, I I schedule time for live streams, so sometimes I just don't have the opportunity to to check out other lives. Uh, that could be a fish type bass, not the instrument. A fish type bass. That's an important. That's an important gig too. Nothing like hitting the hitting the water on a Saturday. Level is the highest level of attainable. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure the Milwaukee fastback is CPM unobtainium. All right. So yeah, um, what was in your pocket today? What is in your pocket today? The, the day is still young. This is what I'm carrying. Love this. Love this piece. This is my modified DLT exclusive paramilitary two with the uh, dark matter red fat carbon fiber scales. Uh, matching backspacer MXG deep carry clip. Love this clip. You know what I don't love about it is the fact that it it looks wonky on a Manix two. Um, I wanted to do this clip on my Manix 2 build, but I can't because it's so deep carry, it sticks way out, uh, on a, unlike the way that it fits on the PM2. So like, works well on a Yojimbo, works well on a Para 3, works well on a PM2, looks weird on a Manix 2. So on that build, which I'm almost done with, last night, I was irresponsible, and instead of working on the channel i worked on my manix 2 build i've been having parts filter in as time goes by i know duty is duty's daggers is ready for the competition he told me yesterday he said what's taking you and jason so long i'm ready to go and i said you know what it's shipping is slow so i can't show it to you yet but i have to say that this is the best looking spider co manix 2 that i have ever seen and I'm really excited for our competition. Will I win? Maybe. These things are going to be determined by you. And we're gonna be doing a blind vote on Lefty EDC's live where you guys aren't going to necessarily know whose build is whose, and you just vote for the one that you like the best, and then you get to find out if the person you voted for is whoever. So that'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Manix 2, an amazing, it's an amazing spider co design. I mean, most of them are, but I'm excited. It's it's almost done. I've got one more piece, 
and then we'll be good. Lou Zare says, crushed carbon fiber or fat carbon fiber? Yeah. So great question. This is fat carbon fiber. Fat carbon is the company and this is their dark matter red scales. So it's kind of like a shred and then they have bits of, of color popping out. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about actually. Uh, they're from the Sharp Dressed Knives website. American, American scale maker. I'm gonna pull it up on my side. Oh, you know what? Let's just do a screen share real quick. Boom. Okay, so here we are. Yeah. So sharp dress knives. If you're by the way, if you're looking for some really good American made modifications for your knife, like he does a ton of different knives. Um he does a ton. Uh, he does scales for Hinderer, he does scales for Benchmade, for Spider Co. Um, I've seen a lot. The XM18, the Jurassic Half Track, Full Track, Spider Co, Spider Co, Spider Co, ZT. Okay. So, Hinderer, Spider Co, ZT. Um, he does the Paramilitary 2, the Shaman, the Smock, the Para 3, the Military 2. The, he does the Gale Bradley 2. Who's out? Who else out here is making Gale Bradley 2 scales? Like, I know that model was, was popular before, but... During the Manix 2 competition, what we ran into was to keep everything American made, there is a very, very limited amount of, of companies that will make aftermarket parts. So who else out there is making Gail Bradley 2 scales? I got to know. Anyways, so let's see if we can find the scales that I got. Uh, PM2. Do I actually need to, to type it out? Camo canvas micro. Okay. Paramilitary two. Dark matter red. Boom. There they are. Yeah. So these are my scales. And the cool thing about these is, is that because he does these by hand and because of the nature of, of carbon fiber no two sets of scales will be the same uh we, you know with the areas that are popping out in red so on and so forth and he he finishes these by hand and it's great it's uh it it doesn't feel like something that was just put on you know a production assembly line and then you know, sent out to the masses and everyone that buys one is going to have one exactly like the next person when you finish stuff by hand and you have this level of precision and the quality is good, like there's no voids in this carbon fiber that I can find. It feels good. It's lightweight. Everything fits well together. The backspacer is from Rips Garage Tech because Rips Garage Tech uh, had the uh, dark matter red backspacer. And just the difference between the two is on the backspacer, there is, there is some voids. Now, it's not a big deal. It's a backspacer. But to give you an idea of the level of quality of sharp dress knives, uh, there's no voids in my scales, but there is in the backspacer. Um, difference in company, difference in quality. Love Rips Garage Tech. Sharp dress knives is next level. So I just thought I would go ahead and mention that since it was in the chat. Donnie Barajas says, I'm sporting the Wii Praxis. Just got it. Can't believe I like it as much as I do. That's such a, like, the, the Praxis is one of those eternally popular Civivi or Wii, same company. You know what I'm talking about. For a while there, it was like the Elementum was blowing up Wii Knife Company and, and Civivi. And now it seems like everyone has switched over to the Praxis. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Glad you like it, man. Tori Casey, welcome in. Thanks for being a channel member. Momentum with the Tarot Tough from Bill and Ty Clip. Nice. Very nice. Barry is carrying penguins in my pocket. Ty in the sheep's foot. Very cool. Hey, thanks for subbing, man. Appreciate it. Craig says, on my way out the door. Hold up. I gotta I gotta fix this. There we go. Gotta bring gotta bring the ch <laughs> the chat highlight within reason. <laughs> Come on, roll. 
All right. We're, we're resizing. We're doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of updating there. It says, on my way out the door, so I don't have time to list them. Use your imagination. It involves cargo pants and cold steel. Lots of cold steel. <laughs> Knives in every pocket and a chef knife on the belt. Tell me I'm wrong. And if you are going fishing, that would actually make sense. Or would that be a fillet knife? Bibbit a bit carried the 8020S. Nice. Very nice. And the Victorinox Pioneer 2016 Limited. Sweet. All right. Tori says, hey, Kevin C., welcome in, man. Thanks for being a channel member. Thanks for dropping by. We appreciate it. Praxis is better. I mean, the Elementum is one of those knives that appeals to a certain crowd of people that just want something simple. The Praxis is like a next step up. I also prefer the Praxis over the Elementum personally. I, you know, the Elementum is... A little small for my hands it's it's not an exciting knife i don't get excited over a over an elementum anymore but the first time i held one i remember thinking dang this action is pretty good i bought the original civivi elementum and i gifted it to a friend now i know that some of you are going to say you never give a knife away you know it's got bad luck or whatever um but every time i give knives to people they end up becoming knife nuts and you know what? Maybe it's just time we break that curse. Tori says, sharp dress knives is where I go for fat carbon for my Spideys. Really good guy, drills me lefty holes, great service. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, I wish that he made scales for the Manix 2. Guess who doesn't make scales for the Manix 2? Sharp dress knives, which is a damn shame. He's got the Gale Bradley covered, but no Manix 2 scales. Like, like come on, what happened? What happened? Uh, Nick says, got to run to pick up some mulch. Got my Evo 3. Nice. With uh, custom high grain designs inlaid on the pocket. I will be listening. Hey, man. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we, we go in the car. <laughs> we go in the car. We go in the earbuds. I'm trying to think. Where, where else would you listen? We listen on your, you listen on your phone. Some people have me on the TV, some people on the phone, some people on the computer. Anywhere you can take a mobile device, we'll be there. And that's not creepy at all. Lone Star says, Elementum not lefty friendly or for large hands either. Now, if you got the big mitts, it's, it's not for you. Hey, how's it going, Jay? Welcome in, man. Thanks for being a channel member. Appreciate it. Top Dog says, man, you can give me a knife and I promise not to become a knife nut. <laughs> oh, man. Jim says, I've given away dozens of knives. Maybe that's why my luck sucks. Dude, so for those who, who are wondering what we're talking about, because some people might not have heard this, but apparently it is very bad luck to give away a knife. To give a knife to someone, uh, apparently it's it's seen as like cutting ties or something like that that's the the belief and it's a really old school thing kind of like you know don't step on a crack uh you know throw salt over your shoulder when you see a black cat stuff like that it's propaganda propaganda for who i have no idea but i've given away knives and uh the people that got them loved them and did not immediately at least immediately have bad luck so there's that Alamander says, my M4 Jade Shaman needs new scales that are more grippy. Suggestions. Yeah, um, so I'll show you what I would do. If I was buying a Shaman, there's two companies that I would look at for scales. The first one would be Rock Scale Design. Uh, Rock Scale is also an American-made company, so they make all their stuff right here in the States. Nothing is, is outsourced, which is great. Uh, they do outsource for their screws, but those are still American made. But if you want the Shaman, check it out. So if you want more grip on your Shaman, you have a couple different options from Rock Scale. Now this is the first company that I would suggest. 
Rockscale does this aluminum oxide blasting on their titanium, which allows it to be very grippy. Um, it's it's nice because it's super scratch resistant, uh, and it, they're, they're really well done. I have some rock scale scales on my other paramilitary too. Uh, here we go on this guy, and they are very grippy. They're not hard. They're not hard on the hands. They're very grippy, and you can get basically these scales on a shaman. And you know what would probably help is if I got the message out of the way. Let's. Bloop. I'm going to bring that down there. So these are the scales. Uh, these are the titanium critter scales. Now, the aluminum oxide finish that, that Rock Scale does on their scales is, is nice because it's a textured grip. It's kind of similar to, um, I, it's not as, as rough as, say, like the regular stock Spider Co. G10, but it is nice and it is very tactile. It's not, it's not like a super smooth glass blasted titanium. You can actually get a nice purchase on them and you can get them in this skinny variation. Skinny means that you don't have any finger grooves. So if you don't like your handle skills telling you where to put your fingers or how big your fingers need to be, that's great. The skinny option is going to reduce those finger grooves down. That's why it's called skinny. Uh, you could also, if you like the traditional look of the shaman scales, uh, these are going to be, again, aluminum oxide blasted. And I guess it's not like the original scales because the shaman scales are actually contoured and they're not grippy by stock, but you would get way more grip with this set of scales as well. You're not going to be saving a whole lot of money here because it's you know 128 bucks for this set, 166 for this set, but it's milled titanium and it's been aluminum oxide blasted. Uh, and they come with screw sets too, which is pretty damn cool. Now the second option, if you're truly bougie, if you're truly bougie, uh, would be Met and Boss. And we're gonna search for the shaman, or as Metal Complex likes to say, the shaman. Uh, you could go here, and these are going to be more polished. Met and, Bo Met and Boss does a lot of polish work. But you can get them in different flavors. You get it in, uh, I believe, brass, copper, titanium. I think he also does aluminum, zirconium, and it's American made. He does all the milling himself. These are not cheap. Met and Boss makes some bougie scales that are really, really sweet. Like, for example, if you want it in oil slick zirconium, check that out. <laughs> If you have to have it in the, you know, like not saying go out and buy $250 scales, but if like that zirconium, yeah, black zirconium, uh, black zirconium. A lot of people don't know this random tangent, black zirconium specifically is harder, tougher, and more scratch resistant than titanium. So it is harder to manufacture. It's rarer than titanium. And that's why they're more expensive. Um, but if you want, you know, copper or if you want uh, titanium, um, you can get it in different designs. He's got three pages of Spyderco Shaman stuff. These are super bougie. Love Met and Boss. Met and Boss does amazing work. Um, if you just want something simple, I don't know if this will increase your grip. Probably not. Um, for that, I would say probably look at these with the frag cnc milled handles this this will add a bit of texture a bit of grip but also retain a bit of polish too so these are very high quality high end are they going to be as grippy as the rock scales that i just showed you no so if grip is the ultimate and maybe you want to move to titanium go get a set of rock scales if you want to spend a little bit more uh, you can get these met and boss scales and if you don't want titanium uh, you could probably also look at something from Cerberus. All right. Hey, how's it going, Midnight? Welcome in, man. Thanks for being a channel member. He says, what's good? Roll Shambo and Knife Fam. Dude, we're kicking it on a Saturday. We're talking, talking knives, of course. You thought I was going to be talking about cookies. You're about to bring in those raisins. I know it. You leave your raisins at home. 
or you could snack on them while you watch. Whatever you like. YD Knives says, wait, the quest in Skyrim makes sense now. I feel like I missed out on something here. Hey, how's it going, Foop Doozle? Welcome in. Thanks for being a channel member. Thanks for joining in. He says, I have given away knives. I don't believe in superstition. Me neither. Uh, midnight. Hold on. We're going to fix this. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're moving the chat highlight. Midnight says, carried my brand new Bradford Guardian 5 on my belt because I can't put the thing down long enough to leave it at home. Complimented by the Bradford Guardian 3 is the Hogue Extract and the Spidey Tenacious. Very nice, man. Solid carry. Solid carry. By the way, it's time that we go check out the Discord. This is the channel members only Discord. Now, uh, the Discord, you can share photos, videos of your carry. You can hang out and chat. Uh, if you want access to the Steel Snobs Knife Steel comparison tool, it lives here. It lives here. And it lives here not because I'm trying to sell it. If I was trying to sell it, I wouldn't make it accessible by people who get gifted channel memberships. Uh, it lives here because, quite honestly, I hate trying to find a reliable file hosting site that's free. I know I tried. It was a disaster. It did not work. But if you want access to the Knife Steel comparison tool, which takes the Knife Steel nerds' uh, Knife Steel ratings and allows you to compare them directly. You can go over here, go to, where is it? Here it is, right here. Steel rating comparison tool. I have a how-to video, and I've got the Excel comparison tool right here. You can download it and do whatever you want with it. They're not my ratings. They're Dr. Laren Thomas's ratings. And yes, I did actually get permission to host it here. He doesn't care that I that I made his ratings com comparable and he doesn't care that I put them here. I let him know what I was doing and he said, cool, go for it. Um, so yeah, there you have it. If you want that tool, that's where you can find it. Let's see some pocket checks. We're going to scroll up because like, people were posting some stuff and I don't want to miss it. So Barry, Barry, are you at Blade Show Australia right now? I was looking at these earlier. That looks fantastic. I really like the look of those. Those look very clean. What company is that? I don't recognize that logo, which is too bad. <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. What company is that? 1500 bucks. Those are customs. Damn. Uh, Mark P coming in hot with the PM2 Tanto. I still need to get one of those. I don't like collecting duplicates of knives. I make... I make a uh, an exception one it's the same model but a different blade shape because that's different but if it's the same pm2 just with like a different just with just a different steel i'm probably not going to go for it but if it's a different blade shape i will that's why i've got this one which is the regular uh regular blade shape and then this one which is the emerson with the saber grind um that's the only duplicate spider co that i currently own I want to get a Tonto version, Tanto, Tonto. Uh, one of these days I'll pick one up on a drop. Ooh, carrying the, that's a TRM Neutron, right? And then the Spidey Chef, that's one hell of a carry. Nice. I dig it. Kaleidoscope of Knives coming in hot with the Sin, the Tactile Knife, Co. Rockwall, and the Matsy Striga, super solid. I love the frag handle scale pattern. That's good. I'm a big fan of frag. We got some people joining in. What do we got? Fib it a bit. That's uh, that's his 8020S and the uh, the Victorinox that he mentioned. Nice. Yeah. Are those the original goat scales? Very nice. I almost picked up an 8020S. Almost. 
Jim's coming in hot with the DRK Fastback CDC collab, the Finch 1929, and the Brass Brigade J-Cal. Ooh. That's the Dead Reckon Warm Cleaver right there. The CDC Dead Reckon Warm Warm Cleaver. That's what you meant by DRK. I still don't like all of these. Uh, every time we do, uh, or every time a new company starts to make a name for themselves and we give them the acronyms, that's where I get mixed up. But sneak peek, and I, I shouldn't do this because I should wait to release it on my channel, but you know what? I don't care. It's Saturday. I'm right there with you, Jim. I'm right there with you. Opinion coming soon. <laughs> Very nice. I like the, the blue. Would you call that a... What kind of blue would you call that? Let me know. What kind of blue would you call that? All right. Time to check in with the chat. Jay Korskinen says, go with the RGT Shaman scales. Yeah, Rips Garage Tech does make scales, don't they? Let's uh, let's see. Rips Garage Tech. It's going to default to the last thing I searched for, which is PM2. Let's do this. Shaman. So, uh, they do have my card options, which is really good for grip on a user knife. Uh, they do have titanium options as well. Looks like you can get, also get milled titanium options. Um, these, these look good. Yeah, they look good. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like that texture in the back of truck beds, like truck bed liner diamond texture. That's what that reminds me of. Uh, you can get it, uh, Rips Garage Tech will anodize it for you. That's cool. DLC is unavailable. That's a bummer. I want to see more... DLC coated titanium. I do. I do. Uh, titanium scratches super easily. Uh, DLC helps retain the finish over time. It helps to keep it helps keep it looking good. Helps it uh, stay undamaged. Not that it's a big deal. Like when you scratch your titanium and you're using your knife, who cares? But for a lot of people who are collectors, and there's a lot of people out there. If you don't believe me, just go to Knife Swap on Reddit. And every listing is brand new in box, never used, never carried, never cut with. And I'm like, why did you, you know, like, that is someone that is purely a collector or an enthusiast that j that knows they're going to be moving on from the knife. And that's why it is brand new in box. I want to see more DLC coated titanium. It's out there. I know it's out there. Ooh, you could even get the black Ultim. Are those still slightly see-through? No. Hmm. Is it black Ultim or is it yellow Ultim that has been dyed black? I want to know. Someone inform me. Uh, ooh, you can get fat carbon skinny scales. That's cool. One thing I will say is, is that I don't believe these are polished. I don't think they do a polish on the scales. So that's just something to keep in mind. So if, for example, if you like the, the fat carbon from Sharp Dress Knives, like this feels polished. But yeah, Rips Garage Tech's got a lot of options. That's cool. Yes, yes they are. Raisins will get Spartan kicked from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I have a zero, zero raisin, zero tolerance policy. Um, Neil McKenzie says, I've had two black cats walked under a hundred plus ladders when I was a firefighter. No bad luck from those. There you go. There you go. Ah, so the ones that you were showing in the pocket check channel were Kingsford knives. Designed a couple of Kaisers also. Nice. Yeah, I've never heard of uh, Kingsford Knives. I might have to check them out. Lone Star says, So many spider codes have that ugly reverse harpoon lift to accommodate the opening hole. Yeah, I mean, for example, on this one, 
I don't I don't mind it at all. Like I I really like the the Spidey Hole deployment. It's great. Like it is really solid. You can do the thumb roll, reverse flick. You know that they they popularized. It works so good that it popularized the term Spidey flick, which you know whatever. Um, the first time I saw a Paramilitary Two, I thought it was ugly, and ever since then I bought a Spider Co Manix Two. And somebody told me, they're like, rest in peace, because you will buy more Spider Co's. And I said, nah, I'll probably just be good with the Manix 2. That was not the case. <laughs> Black piss. <laughs> they painted the Ultim. Hey, I don't make... Midnight says that's just downright raisinists. Yeah, I'm very open about my allegiances to oatmeal cookies that are not tainted by raisins. Don't taint my raisins. Yeah, I want to see it, man. I want to see more DLC-coded titanium. Can we get that done? Like, PVD is fine. Uh, you know, Cerakote is cool when you can get it, but you don't get it often. Give me DLC titanium. That's all I want. <laughs> Sounds like you need a doctor for black piss. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might want to contact your doctor if that happens. Let's see what's new out there. The Milita. The purple haze Milita dropped. People went nuts, bought them all out immediately. I think they lasted like one or two minutes. But you can still get the regular Milita or the White Mountain Knives exclusive Milita. They're in stock. You can get it in, uh, you know, the piss yellow Ultim. You can get it in the tight uh, red micarta. You can get it in blue rich light. 154 cm 129 bucks that's a pretty good deal it's a really good deal in my opinion i think for me i'd probably go for the one with the red micarta inlays i might have to make that happen i, I wanted a milita i knew i wasn't going to get in on the drop because it was happening on a wednesday at 8 p.m which is when i go live so i knew that that was just going to be a miss Hey, thank you. Why do they ruin perfectly good oatmeal cookies with raisins? I have no idea. Uh, let's see what's new. It's been a minute since I've gone down the uh, White Mountain Knives new slash coming in soon rabbit hole i don't like i don't like the trevisa damascus i don't trust it i don't trust it i don't know i don't know what they made what they put in their damascus uh Vosti raccoon do, do, do. trevisa trevisa kaiser momo nope that one is not available yet Ooh, they've got a Spider-Co Micro Jimbo. That's cool. How micro is it? Just shy of two and a half inches on the blade length. Fair enough. I know a lot of people were really looking forward to these. Um, and then I heard nothing after they came out. Not a lot of exciting stuff so far in the news section. Yeah, okay. What about soon? What's cool that's coming soon? Megaron Pegos, the Parism, the Giant Mouse Riv, Concept Cryo. Okay, okay. Okay. 
not a whole lot of exciting stuff there. I'll just I'll just be honest about that. Uh, what about DLT? Ooh, the Chupacabra. So they still have the Chupacabra available at DLT. That's cool. That's using the super lock that was a that uh, was designed by Snex. Black black anodized aluminum satin magna cut. Is it and it's tactile, which means it's American made. That's actually a pretty good deal. I don't have any issue with that price point. Super lock, magna cut, anodized aluminum. I don't have any issue with that. The pocket clip looks like that that lip on that pocket clip might stick out. I'm gonna need to handle one of these. How big is it? Okay, yeah, it's it's EDC size. It's a three three point three inch blade, if DLT can be believed. Seven and three quarters inches overall. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good EDC size. Now they're claiming, and it's hard to trust these. It's really hard to trust these. Now DLT has been one of the one of the most accurate retailers that I've come across when they list out their spec sheet. But if it's to be believed, Tactile's aiming for 63 to 64 HRC. If that's true, that's pretty good. <laughs> they even tell you what the HRC of the of the stainless steel liners and the sliding lock is. Is it me? Is it just me, or does that seem like they're trolling the knife community a bit? Like, oh, you want to know the Rockwell hardness? Uh, well, your liners are made out of 50 HRC hardened stainless steel. What kind of stainless steel? Probably the same steel they use on the Milwaukee Fastback. 61 to 62 HRC AEBL sliding lock. So it's a tough sliding lock. I'm I'm intrigued by this. I'm really intrigued by this. I've never had a tactile on the channel. This might have to be the first. I'm really, really interested in this. Has anyone handled one of these yet? Let me know. Hit me up in the chat. Oh. Midnight says, I could take it or leave oatmeal raisin cookie, but an iced snickerdoodle with raisins. Look, it's bad enough that we've ruined perfectly good oatmeal cookies with raisins. You stay away from snickerdoodles with the raisins. <laughs> I know you're testing me. Uh, Donnie Barras says, what do you think of the giant mouse Riv? The Riv. I, is that the one? Is, is that the, did I review a Riv? No, I did not. Uh, the Riv, is it the regular Riv or the Ace Riv? Because I think the Ace Riv is supposed to be a smaller version, right? Uh, Giant Mouse has really good design language. I've Every Giant Mouse that I've handled has, has had comfortable ergonomics, good action. The Where I'm hesitant is, is that Giant Mouse, their design language is, is good. I don't trust their heat treat. And I don't trust their heat treat because I've seen them advertise higher HRCs than were tested. Is that something that they do on a frequent basis? Was that a one-off scenario? I don't know. But I do know that they're manufactured in Italy. Now, Italy is, has manufactured some amazing items over the years in different niches and industries. But when it comes to knives, Italy is known for doing softer heat treats. Does that mean that they're done incorrectly? No, you can heat treat a knife correctly uh, at a lower Rockwell hardness. When you hear companies say, well, we do it because we want it to be tough. We, we want it to be tough. That is bullshit. That is grade A bullshit. If you ever hear a knife company tell you that they heat treated softer or they, they softened the Rockwell hardness, it is 100% to save themselves on manufacturing costs because the higher the Rockwell, the uh, higher the wear resistance, the more belts they go through, the harder it is to mill things out, the harder it is to do everything. And it costs more all around to have a higher Rockwell hardness on their steel. So I don't know what their deal is. 
but Italian knife makers need to get their shit together and they need to give us harder knives. We want it to be hard. We don't want these flaccid heat treats. In a nutshell, Giant Mouse has excellent design language because they lean on uh, Jesper Voxnes and Jens Onso, and those guys are a killer at the design game. I just want to see them improve their heat treat. Does it mean that the knife won't cut or that you, you won't stay sharp? No, it just means that it's not ideal on the heat treat. All right. I'll stop ranting now. But it is Super Steel Saturday. I guess I had to, you know, talk about steel at some point. A hey, shout out to Lefty EDC. Kev in the house. He saw Super Steel and he was like, I'm going to go blow up the spot. S30V is a Super Steel. We can't do that again. The, the, the people can't handle it. Welcome in, Kev. Good to see you, man. I would tell everyone to go subscribe to Lefty EDC, but chances are that you already are. And if you don't know who that is, go subscribe to Lefty, please. Pillar of the community. Fook Doozle says the definition of pure evil is hiding oatmeal raisin cookies on a plate of proper chocolate chip cookies. If you if someone ever does this in my house, I will Spartan kick them. Inception. You're eating a nice plate of chocolate chip cookies, and someone thought it would be funny to sneak an oatmeal raisin in there. Those are not chocolate chips. Those are oatmeal raisins. Jim says, Rolshambo has to be nice to Kev. Kev is hosting the Mannix competition. Yeah, you know, Kev already told me he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna roast everyone's everyone's modification choices. You're gonna have a lot to roast. That's just the fact. Lefty says Italy has shit heat treat and shit QC. <laughs> Doesn't Giant Mouse send you stuff? They're like, we know that he's gonna roast us, but we don't care because people love our company anyways. Jim Miller says chocolate does not belong on oatmeal cookies. No, and neither does raisins. I like oatmeal cookies. I just don't like when people add raisins. You know, if you're gonna put a dried fruit in a cookie, it's gotta be it's gotta be craisins, like white chocolate macadamia nut with uh, with some with some craisins. Yeah, I'll eat that. We need more turgid steel, Italy. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> Agreed. 100%. Hit up Lefty's channel. Go watch 10 of his videos. Do it. I mean, not during the live. After the live. Hey, welcome in Space Ghost. Good to see you. All right. Hey, Josh Worth in the house. Welcome in, Josh. Good to see you as well. So yeah, no, I uh, I really, really want to check out one of these tactile knife chupacabras. I'm really interested to find out just how good the super lock is. Rumor has it that they weren't initially planning on putting jimping on the super lock. Like, who just who made that decision? Like, but that they did last minute because Neve's knives pointed it out and said, uh, "Yo, put jimping on that." So I guess we can all thank Jared for that. They went to Jared. <laughs> oh, man. You know you've watched too much television when advertisements pop into your head in the middle of the day. Like, you know, I, I know that if I need cash now, I'll just call J.G. Wentworth. But they did go to Jared and they're like, oh, yeah, jimping would, would be a good idea there, huh? I might have to pick this one up and check it out. That is sweet. It looks good. And if they nailed it on the super lock, even better. American made aluminum magna cut. They claim 63 to 63 to 64. And they've got those premium 50 HRC hardened stainless steel liners. I don't know. Where are they dropping though? They have any good drops? 
I feel like I have to check this out daily. Fixed blade, fixed blade, tactile turn, bolt action pins. What is going on with these websites? Does, does no one have anything exciting coming soon? All right, let's go check out our friends over at Blade Runner. By the way, if you're into spot, if you're into the American-made knives, Blade Runner it continually gets in a ton of American-made knives. Lots of Microtech, lots of Heretic. Let's see what they got. Kershaw. And ooh, ooh. Some of you may not have heard. However, however, if you go to Blade Runner HQ and you use code SHAMBO, that's S H A M B O, on Blade Runner HQ, you can get 20% off. We, Riot, Medford, Paragon, and now Maxace. That's five companies that that 20% off code is good for. So they just recently told me, hey, your code will work for Maxace as well. So check it out. <clears throat> if you want a Maxace Kestrel, they're 195 bucks. You could save yourself almost $40. That's crazy talk. That's crazy town. If you want a Max Ace capsule with the Cerakoted Titanium, you could save yourself almost, almost $46. Come on now. Um, the Max Ace Mamba, this, is, this would be a great deal with that 20% off code. So uh, if you want a Max Ace, you can do that. If you want a Riot, Check it out. These are 170 bucks. Not anymore. You can get one for 140. Like that's that's crazy town, man. Uh, same thing with the Riot XOM. So Riot, Paragon, Medford, Max Ace. Yeah. Just type in the code. You'll find out if it works or not. It does not work for Microtex, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, so let's head on over to NC Blade. Right now, I'm just going through the different ones that I always check for new knives. What's new? Well, because sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised. New products. That's a good idea. Someone's got to have something new, something exciting somewhere. <sighs> or not. <laughs> but they still have the CKF Rotten Evos in stock, which is cool. They're the Tanto versions, which for some reason, I don't think people like as much as the regular variant. I actually think that they look just as good, if not better. Got more, got more puncturing power, you know? Let's check in on the chat. Lone Star says, the golden rule for underwear, yellow in the front, brown in the back. <laughs> Maybe. Are we, uh, Jim, are we talking about the white chocolate macadamia nut craisin cookies? They exist. I've had them. They're fantastic. They will equal diabetes, but they're fantastic. Hey, Brandon Sutton, welcome in. He says, roll shambo. This is Sparta. How's it going, Brandon? Welcome in. Donnie Baraja says, what's that code for Blade Runner? It's Shambo. So S-H-A-M-B-O. Shambo will get you 20% off. We, Medford, Riot, Paragon, and Maxis. There we go. Space Ghost says, Crazins and Rick Hinderer Magna Cutter are the same thing. <laughs> Man, that's don't don't tell that to Rick Hinderer. He might sue you. <laughs> it 
Sage 5 and Rex 121. You excited? I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never checked out a Sage 5. I've heard great things about it. Some people really like that knife. Um, I'm not huge on the lockback style knives. Like, I just want it in a, like, does the Sage 5 come in a compression lock? Let's see. Spyderco Sage 5. Is that a compression lock? Hey, shout out to Todd Carr for being a channel member for five months. Five months. He says, happy Saturday, everybody. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can get it in a, in a compression lock. The blade shape doesn't do anything for me, truthfully. Uh, I don't like wire clips, but you, you could replace that with the wire clip replacement from, like, Lynch Northwest or Rips Garage Tech. The, I'm not a huge fan of peel ply carbon fiber. Spider Code does a, as good of a job as anybody on their peel ply carbon fiber. It's not my, it's not my thing. I don't like it. I'd have to replace the scales. And who makes scales for the Sage Five? I bet Flytanium does. Flytanium. Let's let's find out. What if I search for? Let's do Sage Five. Nope. That's a bummer. We'll just Google it. Spiderco Sage 5 scales. So you can get some from Rips Garage Tech. And they've got some good options there. Thank goodness. So you can get it, you can get titanium. It'll cost you 150 bucks. Not surprised. You can get Cerakoted aluminum. That would actually probably be the way I would go. If I picked up a Sage 5, I'd probably have to get a set of the aluminum scales, which makes me automatically think of applied weapons tech. AWT Sage 5. Do they have some? So the one that I want, the next Spider Co that I want to buy model wise is a native 5 with the compression lock. That is the next one that I want. And if I do that, if that happens, I will get some applied weapons tech scales for it. These look so good. The Native 5 looks fantastic. It kind of reminds me of a smaller, a smaller Shaman. Even the serrated version looks good. And I hate serrated versions. We might have to make that happen one of these days. <clears throat> Luke Doozle says, anyone remember carob chips? They were supposed to be an alternative to chocolate. I, yes. And they're awful. Carob chips are, I hate the flavor of those. I understand it. It's supposed to be a healthy alternative, but I, oh, carob is not my deal. Love my native chief lightweight. Nice, man. I need to get a native. It's on, it's on the list. Is on the list. So we've been looking at tons and tons of knife mods. Did I miss anybody? There's Rips Garage Tech. There's Met and Boss. Uh, there is... I didn't mention DNA Lasering because DNA Lasering doesn't make the scales. He just engraves them. Uh, he gets his scales from Flytanium. There is, of course, Flytanium. Um, there is Sharp Dress Knives, High Grain Designs. We haven't checked out High Grain Designs yet. Oh, speaking of High Grain Designs, did you guys see that they are actually dropping a knife? Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at it. The DeVille. This isn't going to appeal to people who don't like Warren Cliffs or Sheep's Foot or Reverse Tontos. But if you do, 
I have a feeling that if you're someone that likes the Brian Brown Jaeger, this is going to be right up your alley. I want this. And I, and here's the thing. I don't, I don't need this, right? I don't need another knife. Like I need a hole in the head, but that looks great. I believe Riyadh is doing it. Uh, the OEM work. That's just sexy. Did you guys see this? High grain designs, the DeVille. I believe the pre-order should be coming soon. So he, he already has it listed, but these are going to be available for pre-order soon. 365 bucks. I do believe that Riot is the OEM. That looks great. I love that backspacer. It's a half length backspacer, milled titanium pocket clip, bolster lock, J plenty of jimping. Plenty of jimping. You see that? Jimp, 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 jimp. Yes. Yes. A countersunk screw clip. So it's coming in from the uh, inside of the scale instead of sticking out on the side. Like, that's great. I need one of these. I need it. Ooh, they have Evo 3 scales. Oh, they're inlays. Got it. Got it. You can get camo carbon inlays. How crazy is that? Cross cut carbon fiber or cross out. Yeah, cross cut. Did Barbarian did Barbarian Brawny take that photo? It kind of looks like it. What a good looking knife. Rotten Evo 3. $155 inlay. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. $365 is about right for Riot. It depends on the order size though. Because if you order a lot, you get a better deal. Titanium carbon fiber on a small batch order could cost a lot more. Hey, welcome into Corrosion Proof. Thanks for being a channel member. Carob tastes like medicine. <laughs> Jim, you're kind in that description. I just think it I just think it tastes awful. <clears throat> Pocket razor. Yeah, it's got that look, like that flat razor-like design. Great for utility cuts. But aha, the pre-order is May 18th, so that is next month. May 18th. I, now, normally I don't go for blue, normally. But that blue carbon fiber looks really good. Doesn't it though? Like it looks really good. What other options are they gonna have? They're gonna have they're gonna have uh, black micarta. That'll be 335. That difference in price is not going to be big enough in my opinion uh because it's three 365 for for this version i'd rather pay 30 dollars more and get that carbon fiber that just looks way better what a beautiful design i mean i suppose you could call that a like somewhere between a sheep's foot and a reverse tonto and a worn cliff it just looks great. I don't believe that is a reversible pocket clip, though. No, it's not. Sorry, lefties. Lefties are not going to rejoice. Excuse me. Had to mute myself on the sneeze. The gold, the gold dark matter carbon fiber also looks good, though. So if you like a, a higher contrast on there, same price, 365. They're going for M390, titanium, carbon fiber, 
365. I think that that's pretty fair for a, for a model like this. Just shy of eight inches overall. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a great EDC size. But I had to I had to show this one, guys, because this is one I've been seeing on Instagram. And I know that a lot of people didn't know this existed. I really hope they got the action. I really hope they got the action right. Tori says, who's making the DeVille? I believe it's Riot. That 100% looks like Riot work. I don't think he mentions it in the listings, though. I'd be surprised if that wasn't Riot. Yeah. It doesn't say. I'm, I'm betting it's Riot. Hey, thanks for dropping by, Alicord. We will check you on the flip side. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check Discord real quick, see if we got any more pocket checks. I'm not seeing any new pocket checks. It is what it is. But... This is going to end it for us today, folks. I don't I don't have anything else to talk about. I think that it's time that we go out there. We go out into nature, cut stuff with our knives or not, hang out with friends and family, eat cookies, just not oatmeal raisin. Maybe bake some cookies. Here's what I know. Uh, we will be going live again in a week. I may not be here on Wednesday. Um, there may be a bit of a scheduling issue. So if that happens, expect to see Wednesday's live stream rescheduled. If I can't make it, I'll try to give people as much heads up as possible. I've got lots of guys coming in. So we've got lots of new content on the way. Uh, some expensive stuff, some in inexpensive stuff, uh, some really, really high quality stuff. And I'm really excited about that. So keep an eye out for that fresh content on the way. But I wanted to say thank you guys for joining me here on a Saturday. What a good day. Super Steel Saturday. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined in the Discord, who joins in the discussion. Um, next live stream may or may not go down. If I cancel it, I'll let you know. Um, but we'll reschedule if that happens. So thank you guys for everything that you do, for making these live streams so much fun. And that's all I got for you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your weekend. For some of you, I'll see you soon. For everyone else, I'll see you later.